In these tough times, having truly engaged employees can be the difference between success and failure. Is the active engagement of your employees high on your agenda? How important is it to the productivity and growth of your organisation? And what do your employees have to say? And what does this tell you about your culture? Over the years, many of our clients have asked us how to go about successfully engaging their employees. Let's take a look at one of the approaches that we use, the Coverdale Engagement Model. There are four elements to the Coverdale Engagement Model, and each element provides a key with which to unlock all of the engagement potential that resides in your organisation. The first element is membership, being part of the team, part of something special. We feel great when the team we're in improves its performance and we're acknowledged for the contribution that we have made to that success. It's why as kids we join clubs and teams. It makes us feel good. In adulthood, why should the workplace be any different? What does your organisation do to give your employees membership, to be part of something special? The second element is decision making, having an input that is valued. It doesn't matter if we're making decisions about future strategy or how to address the needs of an unhappy customer. When we're afforded opportunities to make decisions that are valued by others, we feel good because we've made a positive difference. How do you give your employees opportunities to have an input that is valued? The third element is mastery, having the opportunity to learn new skills and improve. We love to learn new skills and improve the ones we already have, whether it's tying a shoelace, driving a car or getting to grips with a new piece of technology. It breeds confidence and a desire to continue to develop and improve those skills. It can lift our sights to tackling challenges that in the past we would have shied away from. How do you enable your employees to learn, to practice and improve their skills? The fourth and final element is a worthy purpose. Knowing you are working towards something that will make a positive difference to the world in which we work and play. It's in our nature to seek out worthy purposes in what we do in our lives. It's clear that in these tough times, companies that are flourishing are automated by purpose. Fear and greed is not a motivator. Worthy purpose is. What's the worthy purpose of your business? And how do you align the time and energy of your employees with that worthy purpose. Of course, all of this makes sense, but so what? Well, there will be things your organisation already does to give your employees membership, decision making, mastery and a worthy purpose. But are they really engaged through each of these elements? Here's a simple exercise to get you started. Review the four elements of the Coverdale engagement model. Ask yourself how good your organisation is in each of the elements. What would your employees say? Give yourself a score out of 10 for each of the elements. You could always take a small sample of opinion by asking a few of your employees. Next, identify what you could do in each element to increase your score to a 10. You could ask the same group of people what they think. Then develop an action plan to make this happen, aligned to the purpose of increasing employee engagement through each of the four elements. Then ensure time is set aside to regularly review progress, so that membership, decision making, mastery and worthy purpose become the way you do things in your organisation. If you have any thoughts or ideas, or would like to know more about how to develop meaningful long-term employee engagement, please get in touch. We'd love to hear from you.